Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn how to set up SSH key for GitLab and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and we will learn what is SSH key and how to set up SSH key in GitLab. So let's get started and here SSH stands for secured shell. So this is what SSH stands for and here What is the use? So this is used for authentication. And uh, by setting SSH key, you can connect to GitLab server without using username and password each time so once you set your ssh key you can skip using username and password each time to connect to your gitlab server so let's see what we have to do here step number one is run command ssh keygen so we have to run this command now if you are on mac you can just go to your terminal and run this command ssh keygen and you can enter the location or a file where you want to save the key and you can just press enter and here you can just press enter and you will have your SSH key created on the location so in my case it is created here in users Rakhav so this is on Mac but if you are on window so on Windows so let me also write this down on Mac run command on terminal and if you are on windows then you can use a application or a client called putty putty is the ssh client that you can use on windows or you can also use git bash so again you can use git bash to run this command now in the earlier session where we learned about git we have already added uh, installed and set up git and we have got git bash so we can use git bash here so this is what we are going to use I will go to my windows system and search for git bash this is here and here let me try to increase the font if I have the options here if I go to text we have the option here I can select a larger font all right so I will say here SSH keygen and hit enter and here it is asking enter the file where you want to save so let me say I just want to go to my C users administrator and I will just press enter because I want the same path I will say enter uh, enter paraphrase empty for no paraphrase so I will just press enter for no paraphrase and press enter again and this is created if I go to my folder and go to my C users administrator and here if I search for the key so this is dot ssh you can see this is dot ssh and here i have got these two files created id rsa pub and id rsa so if i go to view and say yeah these are the only files that are created so now here step number two will be log into your gitlab account and then go to your account and then you will go to settings and SSH keys so I will just go to my GitLab and login so I'll go here and say sign in 
and I will sign into my account and here if you go to your account or profile here at the top right and you will find settings here go here and here you will find an option for SSH keys here so click on SSH keys and here you will add the contents of your idrsa.pub file so if you see here this is the file you can open with any text editor like notepad or notepad plus plus and you can copy the entire thing you can copy this so this is not uh, formatted as of yet so I'll just copy the entire thing from here and paste it here so you will see this is now pasted here and if you want you can give some title here um, so you can give some name to your key you can give here Raghav key one anything and then say add key and you can see this is now added here we have the title here created on and last used and this is the key this now you can use to authenticate and log into GitLab server so here step number three is copy contents of your ID RSA pub that is this file this file and say add key and then step number four is verify SSH key is added so if you see this that means your SSH key is added in the coming sessions uh, or in the later sessions we will see how exactly you can use this so this is how you can add SSH key in your GitLab so I hope this was all very useful for you please do a hands on and also share your knowledge with others and I will meet you in the next session of GitLab. Thank you so much for watching.